वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू द फिजिक्स फीजन क्लासेस सो द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज वी हैव अ फोर क्रॉस फोर कॉम्प्लेक्स मैट्रिक्स ए इज गिवन विच सेटिस्फाइज दिस कंडीशन एंड वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट रियल पैरामीटर्स ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स ओके इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन लेट एस सॉल्व दिस लेट सी first of all let's write out the given condition write down the given condition which is a dagger a is equal to 4i it implies if we divide a by 2 so it will give us the value as a by 2 dagger a by 2 is equal to an identity matrix and as we know this is the condition of a of a unitary matrix of a unitary matrix okay hence we can say that whatever the number of independent parameters are there in a unitary matrix the same number of independent parameters will be there in a given matrix a right so we just we just need to calculate the number of independent parameters of a unitary matrix of Four cross four dimensions, right? How will we do it? Let us consider a unitary matrix. Let's say B, a unitary matrix whose elements are matrix elements can be written as A I J plus iota B I J. Okay, and now in this we can see that. n square elements can be chosen in a and n square element can be chosen for b hence 2n square independent or total parameters are there in a unitary matrix we have total parameters equal to 2n squares okay we just need to find out the independent parameters only for that matter what will we do we'll just use make use of this property that u dagger or what we have taken we have taken it as b this matrix b as we'll write it as b dagger b is equal to 1 or identity matrix we'll make use of the this property of or this definition of unitary matrix what will we get we'll get two different conditions that a k i with a k j plus b k i with b k j is equal to delta i j where delta is a kronecker delta function and also we obtain that a k i with b k j minus a k j with b k i is equal to 0 so we have one symmetric condition okay this equation is symmetric under the exchange of i and j under the exchange of i and j and this condition equation 2 is anti symmetric under the condition of exchange of i and j so there are two conditions one is symmetric and two is and two is anti symmetric right now we'll see the number of independent components of a symmetric matrix are n n plus 1 by 2 and number of independent components of an anti symmetric matrix are n n minus 1 by 2 since the total matrix needs to satisfy both these both of these conditions and it is sum of a symmetric plus anti symmetric so the total number of independent components comes out to be n square okay independent components of this matrix comes out to be n square therefore we can say that since n is equal to 4 we can say that 4 square gives you the correct answer 
hence we have option d which is 16 is the correct answer for the given matrix for the given questions okay so stay tuned with us for further more questions and doubts sessions and thanks for watching our video